welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for stopping by we've gotten a few good notes updates here lately and i thought this would be a good opportunity to go through some of them good notes updates are not always easy to find when you go to the app store you will see good notes and the option to open if you select the good notes title it will open a page with the option there to update this is the page that you need to come to to check to see if any updates are available GoodNotes now has a home screen icon in the top left that will take you back to the interface or home page. Before the update, there was a small arrow in the corner that you would use to go back. There has also been an update to the search option, giving you more ways to search through your documents. When you use the waffle shape icon, you can select if you want the standard window view, or now you can select to have a sidebar view. Using the sidebar allows you to scroll all of the pages in your document and still have a full view of the current or selected page. There are several new features added to the Lasso tool for you to toggle on and off when using the tool. This is always helpful to ensure that you move the selected items on the page and not everything around it. The Lasso tool itself has two new options. In addition to the circle lasso that we all love, we now have the option to use a rectangle shaped lasso. This has been the option that I've used when I take screenshots of my vision board to use on my other planner pages. For my fountain pen users, there has been an update to this tool. I'm not a calligraphy writer by any means, but I do want to learn. I'm sure this new feature will come in handy when writing in calligraphy. You now have the option to flatten the tip of your pen, and I can tell just by writing my name the difference in the pen. As you know, the GoodNotes app comes with a few stickers already installed. Now there's a pack of sticky notes that can be used in your planner or your journal. To access the sticky notes, open the element tool and scroll over until you get to the install stickers. There are several different options in color, size, and style that you can choose from. If you have the new Apple Pencil Pro, you can access some of the toolbar using the new squeeze feature. This feature has definitely been an adjustment, but once you get in the habit of using it, your planning experience will be elevated. When you select the lightning bolt, there are three icons that appear. The list icon gives you the option to add your page to your document outline. The page icon clears the page, but you can use the undo button at the bottom of the menu to bring everything back. The paint icon gives you options to make changes to the template of your page. You have the pen tool and you can change the size of the pen and the color. You can choose from the first three colors in your favorites. Next is the eraser and you can adjust the size on it and then the highlighter and you can select the size and color here too. You can access the shape tool and the lasso tool with the different options. When you select the elements tool, you'll have access to a few of your recently used elements. Then you have the picture and text tool and next to that, the laser or the pointer. GoodNotes now has a tape feature and there are a lot of different ways that this can be used. When you select the tape, you can choose the size and the thickness of the tape. When the tape is in place, you can tap it with your pencil to unselect it and tap it again to bring it back. I wish I had something like this to use for studying when I was in school. When you select the tape icon again, you have an option in the dropdown to remove all the tape. And then you can always hit the undo button to bring the tape back. The last addition is to the AI feature. When you select the keyboard and type out your text, the star icon gives you access to the AI assistant. Here you can paraphrase the text, change the tone to professional, friendly, or confident, make the text longer and also shorter. As of today, Friday, June 14th, those are all the new features that have been added, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see more soon. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new features and what features you would like to see drop next. All right, y'all, till next time.